Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the super cool IP adapter malls. I think they are the most powerful malls in the Holo Stable Diffusion and for ControlNet. So we're gonna go ahead and download those for uh, Stable Diffusion. For Automatic 11.11, .11, we're gonna go into this repo in the hogging phase. It's the Ilya Civil ControlNet collection. Get all the malls that you need. I'm gonna get the IP adapters and then I'm gonna go to this other link that I'm gonna provide in the description and get this super secret plus phase uh, SD15. And the only thing that you need to do is change this beam extension for PTH. And we're gonna go into our control net malls and place all the malls in here, right? As you can see, stable diffusion malls, control net, and my PTH files are in here. As you can see, I have the IP adapter light, IP adapter plus, the plus phase, and I changed the extension of this to PTH. Okay, so after that, you just have to go back to your stable diffusion. Okay, we are here back in stable diffusion, and if you want to have the same things as me, uh, I have all these things here at the top that you can see. Then if you want to have the same, just go into settings and you will have something like user interface here and the quick list. And in the quick list, you just need to go into the drop down menu and find these things like in paint mass weight, SD by initial noise multiplier, image to image color correction, SD LoRa, clip at, the, at last layer and upscaler to image. Okay, so get these ones. After that, you just need to apply the settings, reload the UI, and it will be there. One more thing that you need is, of course, control net. So you can get it from the available here, load it from the available thing, and get your control net extension. Install that extension. If you already have that extension, yeah, just update the extensions, and that's it. Apply and restart and that's it so let's go into image to image and let's start working i have this mold called cyber realistic b33 in painting and i recommend to use an in painting mold and be in the image to image tab because basically this is more powerful with the in painting thing the recommended buy for this is the mse 840,000. yes that's the one ema safe tensor prune that's the one that I'm gonna use. Clip skip one. And that's it. Let's start working because the time is moving and we need to go. So we have this face here, this one one girl that I made also with the IP adapters, and you can see the quality is quite high. So now to get them working, one tip that I have for you is basically try to make the reference and the source the same type of image. So if you have a portrait, make it also a portrait in your reference and have the same resolution and quality of image. If you, for example, have a portrait, try to have the same angle of the picture also that will help you to have the, the best result. In here in the samplers, I will up this up to 50 or 60 and then use like the DPM plus 3M SD Caras for the sampler. But you can use any sampler you like if you want the UniPC or DDIM. The DDIM, I think, is the one that works the best. In the control net unit, you load the first unit with the image that you want to use for the transformation. We're gonna change the hair and I'm gonna use this curly hair image. As you can see, it's a three quarter profile and my image is more in the front, but it's quite close enough that it will work, okay? So IP adapter is the thing that we're gonna use for control. We will use the plus face SD 1.5 for this. And in here, we will do an in painting for the mask. If you painting the mask, one of the things I recommend is going with a smaller one in a smaller brush size in, in the borders. So you have more control and do this quicker. And that's the one that I finished in there. This. Awesome. And now I can go with a bigger one and fill in the rest. Okay, so that's our mask there, quite finished. 
And as you can see, I'm gonna select like for him the batch count in here for the image. And I'm gonna leave it in 75% the noise strength. That's the important values here is that you go, the bigger you go more for the reference and if the, the lower you go more for, for your original picture, right? So we, we want a big change. So we want that 75% there and let's generate. I will uh, speed up this part so Awesome. So here we have our result and the hair is coming curly like in your in reference image. And you can see here sometimes if you put like a batch count of four, you can use parts of one image to improve the other one. You can load it into Photoshop or Krita, have that one in the bottom layer and, and erase the bad part that you don't like and get a good picture at the end. So that's a way you will compose it. And as you can see, it's well unified the result. And let's try with another image to see another one. Let's uh, get out of this one in here. Let's go with something more wild, like for example, this one. And generate. Okay, awesome. So we got uh, the old result here with the pink hair or violet hair. So we got like these results. They are quite cool and you can see like they are well integrated again, almost like we did in Photoshop. And one more example, if we want to go more wild, we will need to have the underlying structure of the hair that we want to modify to get something like really wild. So at the moment it's more like changing like the quality of the hair and also changing the color and stuff, but not really changing the shape of the hair. But to change the shape of the hair, you will need to go into Photoshop and paint something and then basically have that underlying structure there where you can actually do it. So basically let's bring one image that I did that exactly. So I grab my image here that you can see in here, right? I grabbed that image and I edited in Photoshop. So I added this uh, hair of the image that I want to change, right? It's super funny, but actually this works actually. So we can grab the real image that we want for reference that it will be, just get the reference, this type of Mickey Mouse style thing. I don't know if you can see, but basically it's the same image that I put together in Photoshop. I grabbed that top part and now I have a similar haircut that I can do. And now basically I just have to generate in here and it will give me something closer to this. This could be better done if you have more time. This is enough for me right now. Okay, so that's how you get like a super wild result. You need to uh, change the underlying structure of the image to get something in there like in, in this. Cool, so let's go ahead and do another image in here. Load. We have this girl that maybe needs some clothing and yeah, I did this one also with the IP adapters with a similar um, workflow that I'm showing here. And I'm gonna select another image to have it as a, as the clothing that I'm gonna put in this. And I'm gonna select the same size. And I'm gonna paint my mask in here. Okay, cool. So we got our model there with the painting. Let's do generate. I forgot to change this to, to face. I'm gonna interrupt this super quick. And I'm gonna change this to something more like the IP adapter plus, or probably this one, the IP adapter 1.5. Let's do the 1.5. So for different type of pictures, you need different IP adapter. 
the, of course you will use the face 14 die to do with the face and you will use something like the 1.5 normal for the normal things So here we have our, our result, cool. This sweater came up really well. Maybe we can use that for the top or this one. Yeah, so the textures and everything is coming really well. Sometimes you get this fringe in the, in the image that you can change with uh, Photoshop, but pretty awesome. It looks really good. Maybe let's try something like more cartoony, more stylized and see how this thing work. This mall is a lot more powerful with cartoony stuff than actually real things, but as you can see, you can use it for both. I like to show more like the realistic results than the other ones, but anyway, we can go with the plus face on this one. We're going to try a plus face. Also, you can use a second control net if you want in here. You can use the revision mall or other malls. Maybe I'll show you how to do that in another video. This time I'm just gonna go quite quickly and use this. Only this image. Maybe I can even use it right now. Nah, better not. I just select the size of the image. For this one, I will put something more, more similar to her. And I'm gonna use image to image. And let the face team try to do its work alone. And generate. If you see something in the image that you don't like, I already mentioned you can use the negative prompt or actually the positive prompt if you want to put something. And we can see how it transfers the style of that image into here. We can even put a bit more of the, of the reference image because we are in 4.5. Maybe we can put it into 0.6 and do another generation. with the macro skirt and now this one is looking better in from the generation how it's coming up you can also use another type of model that is more cartoony it will work better for cartoony things okay. but yeah i'm happy with this i think it's enough for today we changed the hairstyle we changed the the outfit of a character and now we transfer the motif of one image into another there are more things that you can do here actually combining it with loras and things like that but for this video i wanted to make a, a quick video for you guys to show you because i've been very busy with my uh, llm projects that i've been hired for and now I wanted to take that the Sunday to make a video really quick for the channel. I need to grow this channel and I planning to make a community with this and show also how to use LLMs and projects like that. And please, if you like the channel, like the video, please uh, give it a comment and help me to grow. Share it with your friends if you have friends that like stable diffusion and you think that this channel is good. I will be making more videos and get better with time. I know that I still suck making videos, <laughs> but I, I really want to uh, get better. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.